The creation of ICT development hubs has up to now been done by the private sector, but at last government has joined the space, with one to be finished in six months and groundbreaking done today in Nakawa. Hubs, no doubt, will produce technology entrepreneurs, what they call techpreneurs, and they will spark growth of high-tech cities. Because now, if we put a hub here, and tomorrow we, want an we see an international company wanting to set foot here, we will encourage them to set ground. In a shift of government operation, the job for this project has been given to the Uganda People's Defense Forces Engineering Brigade instead of procuring for a private sector contractor. So I appeal to all the sectors that uh, we can do any work now, call upon. And we shall not behave like uh, what is going on now, where we take on the work and then we sit down to say, pay us this, do this and that. For us, we are ready to perform the duty up to the end. The College of Computing and the Information Science at Makere University has a population of about 4,000 students with only 800 functioning computers. It's a shame. Government will support the creation of an ICT innovation ecosystem by not just providing this excellent set of art facility, but also providing other support to the innovators. This comes at a time when government is desperately playing catch up with regional partners in harnessing the transformative power of technology to spur economic growth.